Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another music review right here today. And I'm back to the old format, the uh, two things. Uh, I, I did record a um, five songs you should hear, number two. That should go up before this. So um, if not, then, you know, I'm crazy. I like to put things up at weird times and stuff like that. So um, if you want to know when I put my, put on my videos, I usually set them to uh, schedule them to go up at around noon or 1130. Um, that's usually when I put them up. Um, when I put extra videos out, that'll be out like at random times, probably. I usually just put it to go on like at 11 or 11.30, uh, depending, I, it's basically like a half an hour before or after, um, the video of the day. Uh, I know th there's a short video of my, my old glasses getting broke and that would, that will be going up as an extra video on one of the day because it's only 20 seconds long. I'm not going to do that. Um, and there is breaks where I, you know, I, I just, uh. One, I don't really feel good today, and um, it's, just, it's just life happens, and I, <laughs> I forget to upload, uh, and I do schedule stuff ahead of time, so sometimes I just uh, forget when I don't have a video going up, so, you know. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about Faith No More and Dog Fashion Disco. Great bands, great bands, really, I think, out there, kind of together, and that's kind of why I put them together. Um, let's talk about let's talk about Faith No More real quick. Um, their claim to fame is the single "Epic," and if you if you haven't heard "Epic," then I, I especially if you've been around a while like me and you're in your mid thirties or whatever, you probably have heard the song "Epic" at one point. You may not know who sings it, but um, it it's you know it's a really good song and that's their major song. Uh, they also have a song called "Midlife Crisis." Um, it's really good. I actually had the song stuck in my head the other day after doing my research for this. Uh, and it's just, you know, another song that's just super good of theirs. Um, and I think those are two of the main songs that they had. Um, I think they're still around. They're still, they took a break for a long time. They had lineup changes and, you know, disagreements. You know, like most bands have that's been around for a long time. Um, but they got back together, I believe. And I think they're still together to this day right now. Um, I think it was a couple years ago they got back together and they released the CD. Um, I didn't really think it was that great, to be honest. Um, I listened to it and it's just, they kind of changed like when I, their CD, uh, was called, I, and when I printed this out, like I have a new way of doing this and it put it like on the other page for some reason. It's very, very weird. Um, oh, okay. So yeah, they, they kind of, uh, well, I guess that's dog fashion disco. That's not Faith No More. Um, but I did have their cassette back in the day, and I used to play it in my car, and I, I enjoyed that CD. But there was also, they kind of sounded like lounge singers, like at times on their songs. But the one I think you want to check out is, I think it's the one with the swan on it, um, swan songs. Or just check out the song Epic and Midlife Crisis. Those are really, really good. Um, but it's just kind of an interesting band. If you want to find an interesting band to listen to, this is actually one of them. Um, like I said, they, they, they kind of stray from kind of rock to kind of soft rock kind of stuff and it's just kind of interesting like they kind of do some like like I said it kind of sounds like lounge singing some of their songs most of them and it's kind of not my style I'm not really a huge fan um, I, I, I'm, bl I'm, I'm blanking on the guy that was huge like about 10 years ago uh, when I used to listen to X103 in Indiana they some guy had like he blew up and he was like doing all these covers and like lounge style um Somebody, if somebody sees this video, they'll probably, you know, comment down below what it is, if you can figure it out. Um, but I can't think of what his name is, but it kind of reminds me of that. And he was actually okay, but this is even, I think, worse than that. So I'm not really a huge fan of the lounge style, but they do have a few songs that are pretty good. Um, the one with the swan on the cover, I can't remember. I didn't, I didn't write the dang album down, but that's it. You'll see. I think it's Swan Song, I want to say, is the name of the album, but that's pretty good. Um, but now let's go to Dog Fashion Disco. So Dog Fashion Disco is kind of the same way where I had a CD of them that my friend gave me. Um, he played it one day and he said, hey, I found this cool man. He played it in the car when I was in there with him. Um, but then he said, but not all their songs are, or yeah, he played it for me. They said it was only like an EP. It was like a small EP. Um, and I don't know what happened at that point because then they went to lounge style kind of stuff like Faith No More, which is really weird. Um, but they were actually like hard rock. So, you know, they're an alt, they call them alt metal, but they're not really metal per se. But I think they, they kind of, they kind of do more hard rock stuff. Uh, they're kind of like, instead of Faith No More being, you know, kind of rock, 
and mostly loud style songs. They kind of do have some alt metal songs, like they're kind of they're kind of um they kind of have a metal vibe to them, I guess. But they really stray sometimes, and they you know they go off on a tangent like uh, Faith No More does, and they do these like lounge style songs, and it's like. And, and they referred to Mr. Mungle being an influence, and, and you know, but uh, on things I was looking at, they probably said, well, Mr. Mungle probably was an influence, and I think that they basically confirmed that in something I, I, I looked at online. So I haven't really checked out Mr. Mungle, so that's a name drop for somebody else you could check out. Um, not my cup of tea either. Probably won't ever review them. They're okay. I may, like, at some time review them just randomly. But, um... So I like them when they do the heavy stuff, Dog Fashion Disco, but not really a fan of their keyboardy jams. Nope, not a fan. Um, but I wish, you know, you know I, I don't know, like, both of these bands, they have good timing on their songs, and the songs aren't bad that they create. It's just the fact that when you have a hit or when you get popular on a certain type of music and then you switch to it, like, randomly, like, the lounge style, that's very, very odd. Um, I don't know what happened. I don't know why they decided to do that because, you know, Epic and Midlife Crisis was their, you know, major songs that they, you know, had famous. And I think he had, like, another lounge song that actually got famous, but there's only, like, one probably that got famous. So I heard he had a good uh, thing with. I don't know. I would assume if you were doing really, really good, you would have stayed. And, and the thing about this is, is I believe his name is Mike, Mike Patton. He is, like, notorious in the metal community um, and the hard rock scene as being, I believe, a drummer. And he, like, it's crazy that he uh, was a part of this. And that's his claim. That's what's his uh, claim, you know, to being famous and things. And, you know, they've had, I think he's played for Ozzy. He's played for numerous other bands. And I don't know. I don't understand Faith No More what what they're trying to do with their music being, you know, famous on those two songs. But anyway, a dog fashion disco, disco, I almost said something bad there. Um, dog fashion disco is also a, a decent band. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of their loungy style stuff and their all team metal stuff, but when they do the hardcore, you know, the kind of the hard, you know, rock stuff, I, I like it. They, they, they do really good on that. And they kind of mix it up. I think with kind of lounge and hard rock in the song. So that's what makes it kind of cool. I like that. Um, and I think they're still together too. Like something on Spotify, it's hard to tell if the band is together or not. Usually they do black and white on the picture, but sometimes I think they get back together and it's not really like mainstream that you know about it. But I know I looked on uh, YouTube and I think I searched for dog fashion disco and things came up that they were like putting on a show in 2016. And the last album that came out on Spotify was 2013 or 14, I think. Uh, don't quote me on that, but and so I'm like, there has to be like another album here somewhere or something, but they have a huge cult following. People love dog fashion disco, probably in the area where they're from. Not really sure. I want to say Seattle, but I'm probably wrong. I'm probably, it's probably California or something. Um, but not really sure. Could be somewhere completely different. I don't know. But anyway, Faith No More, uh, um, I almost said the next band I was going to review, uh, dog fashion disco, check them out. As always, for everything Brad Tragic, check out bradtragic.weebly.com. Um, I have other handles. I'm going to try and get a blurb uh, set up. Uh, I call blurbs like an automated thing where I'm just going to put in the end of every video um, to show my Twitter and everything like that. Because I am on Twitter. And I'm not very active, but, you know, if, if you follow me, if you're a local man trying to get some exposure, I don't know how much exposure you're going to get from me, but, you know, um, I usually put tags on there. Then, you know, if you have people that, you want to see your video you can you know direct them to youtube and you know i can talk about them and stuff like that i don't know it's it's i, I did it in the past so um uh if you want exposure you know follow me on twitter it's brad tragic basically um so there you go uh like comment subscribe as always all that jazz and uh if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget keep rocking and keep on listening to music maybe some more maybe not Okay.